Inside that enclosure is a Seagate 6 terabyte 7200 RPM model ST6000DX000 drive. And I'm starting to see a trend here. Uh, I had a, there's a video on my YouTube channel of a laptop drive, a Seagate, I think 500 gigabyte hybrid drive or one terabyte hybrid drive. And whenever it experiences small angle changes or vibration, the seeks, when it's busy, the seek noises become way louder. And I used to have a dual 3 terabyte RAID array with two Seagate hard drives in it. Did the same thing, and this is the 6 terabyte, and guess what? This is a plastic cable. There, hold on. I'm just tapping on the table a little bit. And I have some benchmarks going. That's my two terabyte Samsung laptop drive, six terabyte Western Digital red, green drive kind of thing. This this drive and right now it's doing the 4K read benchmark. Focus. Focus. There you go. So it's in 0.76 right now if I start moving it. I'm being very gentle with the drive. Very little change, but it does that. It goes into this loud seek mode. And you notice no performance change. Sometimes it goes down a tad. But listen to that. Stereo microphones, right? I guess front to back it doesn't mind too much, does it? It's side to side. How about that? Still doing the same benchmark. You can hear the platters aren't too happy when I do that. You hear that whining noise. Don't want to cause the platters to flex. Anyway, this is not abuse in any way. Very small change and it's making this noise. I think it's a way to maintain performance when it's trying to make sure the servo is putting the read write head directly over the, where they should be in the track and it's being more aggressive. That's my guess. Anyway, a lot of Seagate drives do that, and probably all new laptop drives do that too. So if you're just, you know, move your, have your laptop on your lap and you're wiggling around a little, and the drive's busy, you're going to have loud seeking noises like I, I showed you on my YouTube video uh, a year ago or so. So I would stay away from Seagate drives if you want a laptop drive. A desk drive, you know, usually there aren't any earthquakes and you're not moving your table around, but um, this is ridiculous because no other drive manufacturer does this in the event of angle changes, uh, vibration during operation. So you get the only one that makes this loud noise that I'm aware of. Western Digital does not. This guy's awake. This is a Western Digital uh, red or Western Digital green a white label drive, relabeled, but still, it doesn't get louder. No, no Western Digital drives do it. And I did a Hitachi 5K3000 dust car. A desk star two terabyte uh, it does not do it don't know about the newer drives so thanks for watching furthermore let me add that since this is 7200 rpm it runs very hot it runs at about 50 degrees celsius without this fan running this rose will enclosure fan 
Yeah, it uses about 10, 11 watts when idle. Um, after they exceed after losses, uh, I don't know if the fan was running, but it uses quite a bit of power, whereas this drive uses way less. And according to benchmarks, it's really not that much slower. Uh, copying files to itself, large files, it's about the same speed. Maybe a touch slower. This is the 7200 Seagate. And yeah, this is the 6 terabyte 5400. So you know, it does better with this, works with the uh, 4K write or 4K read. Might be a fluke, fluke also, but um, I think I have these two, this as a backup to this drive. So this is my primary. I think I'm going to switch that and make this green drive much less power used, quieter. Make it my primary, make this just the backup of the backup because it's just a power hog and not that much quicker in most cases. It's not worth it. This is the ST6000DX000. You know, they also have the desktop, Seagate desktop, which is the 5900 RPM. Maybe that's not that much slower than that and runs a lot cooler. But yeah, I would advise it against getting this drive. It's just it's a power hog and not all that fast. In addition to, of course, the seeking noise. Yep. Not to mention the head parking issue this drive has, where it parks the head when it's been idle for 20 seconds or so, I estimate, and it has to do some initialization to come back online. It's about one second, one and a half seconds every time. That's a, another YouTube video of mine. This drive is not good. For a performance drive, why does it have a head parking algorithm that you can't uh, disable permanently if you wish?